Good day, Acute Angels. This is Teacher Anna and welcome to another Matinic episode. Today, we will learn about chords and the theorems that are related to it. Are you ready? But before we start, kindly prepare your self-learning module, your pen, and paper to write your solutions and answers as we progress with our discussion. Also, look for a place in your home where you feel comfortable and safe. And most importantly, prepare yourself to watch and listen carefully. Since this is the last lesson in week 3 to 4, still, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to derive inductively the relations among chords, arcs, central angles, and inscribed angles. Proves theorems related to chords, arcs, central angles, and inscribed angles. In the previous lesson, we already learned about chord. A chord is a segment that joins any two points on the circle. So this time, we will focus on the theorems that are related to chords. Theorem number one. In the same circle or congruent circles, minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding chords are congruent. In the given example, both circles shown indicate that line segment BE and line segment CD are congruent. Therefore, arc BE and arc CD are also congruent. Theorem number 2. The perpendicular bisector of a chord is also a diameter. In the given example, line segment AD is perpendicular to line segment BC. And as stated in the theorem, the perpendicular bisector of a chord is also a diameter. In the given, it is clearly seen that line segment AD is part of the line segment EF, which is a diameter. Therefore, we can say that the line segment BD is congruent to the line segment DC, as line segment BC is bisected by the diameter. Bisect means parting the line into two equal parts or portions. Theorem number 3. If a diameter is perpendicular to a chord, then the diameter bisects the chord and its corresponding arc. This theorem is like the theorem number 2. But in this one, it is also mentioned that when diameter bisects a chord, it also bisects its corresponding arc. It parts the arc into two equal parts. Therefore, in the given example, if line segment EF is perpendicular to line segment BC, then line segment BD is congruent to line segment DC, and arc BE is also congruent to arc EC. Theorem number 4 In the same circle or congruent circles, two chords are congruent if and only if they are equidistant from the center. In the given example, if the line segment FE is equal to the line segment EG, then line segment AB and line segment CD are congruent. And now, let us apply what we have learned about the theorems related to chords. Example number one. Find the value of x and y in the given figure. This example is the application of theorem number 3, wherein if a diameter bisects a chord, it also bisects its congruent arcs. Therefore, 3x minus 4 is equal to 5x minus 18, and y plus 4 is equal to 2y plus 1. We have our equation now, so we can now compute for the value of x and y. Let's begin with x. Our working equation is 3x minus 4 equals 5x minus 18. Isolating the variable x, 
we will apply the addition property of equality, wherein we will add 4 both sides, or simply transpose negative 4. So we have 3x is equal to 5x minus 18 plus 4. And as we continue to isolate the variable x, we will transpose 5x. So we have 3x minus 5x is equal to negative 18 plus 4 is equal to negative 14. And 3x minus 5x is equal to negative 2x. And we bring down negative 14. And to get the value of x, we divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 2x divided to negative 2 is equal to x. And negative 14 divided to negative 2 is equal to positive 7. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 7. How about the value of y? Of course, our working equation is y plus 4 is equal to 2y plus 1. And as we isolate the variable y, we apply the addition property of equality, wherein we will add negative 4 both sides, or simply transpose positive 4. y is equal to 2y plus 1 minus 4. And we transpose 2y. We have y minus 2y is equal to negative 3. And y minus 2y is equal to negative 1y. And we bring down negative 3. And to get the value of y, we divide both sides by negative 1. Negative 1y divided to negative 1 is equal to 1 y or simply write y and negative 3 divided to negative 1 is equal to positive 3 therefore the value of y is equal to 3 example number 2 use the circle a to answer the following a if the measurement of arc bd is equal to 125 degrees find the measurement of arc cd this example is the application of theorem number 1, wherein if line segment BD and line segment CD are congruent, therefore, arc BD and arc CD are also congruent. So without solving for the value of arc CD, the measurement of arc CD is also equal to 100. 25 degrees. Letter B. If the measurement of arc BC is equal to 80 degrees, find the measurement of arc CD. As we all know, the whole measurement of a circle is equal to 360 degrees. Therefore, if we subtract 80 to 360 degrees, we will get the measurement of arc CDB. And if we divide it to 2, we will be having the measurement of arc CD and arc BD as they are congruent to each other. So our working equation would be the measurement of arc CD is equal to 360 degrees minus 80 degrees divided to 2. 360 degrees minus 80 degrees is equal to 280 degrees. And dividing it to 2, we have 140 degrees. The measurement of arc CD is equal to 140 degrees. Example number 3. Find the values of X and Y in the given figure. This example is the application of theorem number 3, wherein X is equal to 6, and 75 is equal to y as the diameter bisects the chord. So without solving for it, the value of x is equal to 6 and the value of y is equal to 75 degrees. And now we are down to our last example. Find the value of x in the given figure. 
As we can see, this figure is the application of theorem number 4, wherein it states that in the same circle or congruent circles, two chords are congruent if and only if they are equidistant from the center. So we have two chords wherein in the figure they are equidistant from the center. So our working equation now is 6x minus 7 equals 35. And in order for us to get the value of x, we need to isolate the variable x. So applying the addition property of equality, we will add 7 both sides or simply we transpose negative 7. So we have 6x is equal to 35 plus 7. And 35 plus 7 is equal to 42. And in order for us to get the value of x, we need to divide both sides by 6. 6x divided to 6, we have x. And 42 divided to 6, we have 7. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 7. You did great in watching and listening. I hope you are now confident to answer activities related to chords. Again, this is Teacher Anna and see you on another Matinic episode.